In this video, we're going to be giving you build tips on your StepCraft machine. Notice how the assembly has a considerable amount of play. Using a 2.5 millimeter ball end Allen wrench, we can adjust the screw just until the play has been removed. Make small adjustments. Once all the play has been removed, tighten the screw an additional 90 degrees. This is the correct tension. There's no play, yet the assembly will roll with just a little bit of force. Notice how a little tap gets it to slide. Repeat the same process for the x-axis, adjusting the screw in small increments until all the free play is eliminated. Here we demonstrate how the screw is adjusted an additional 90 degrees to complete the adjustment process. The y-axis extrusions are again adjusted the same way. Notice the play that we're about to remove. We'll eliminate this play by adjusting the tension screw. As seen here, a gentle tap and the extrusion will slide. Notice how the brass nuts can rotate slightly in the orange plates. Never grab the lead screw from the end, but instead, Grab it as close to the lead screw nut as possible. Notice how this lead screw is not straight. We'll be applying a little bit of force to straighten it out. Notice how the free play of the lead screw is centered in the bushing. This allows the lead screw to pass effortlessly through the bushing. Next we'll be installing the y-axis lead screws. Notice the flat spot, we'll be threading this end in first. We're looking for about 10 inches of threaded rod on both sides of the upright. Push the entire assembly toward the rear bearing. Notice how this lead screw is not centered in the bearing's hole. We'll need to apply a little bit of force to rotate the lead screw upward slightly. Now the free play is centered within the bearing. This is the correct adjustment. This allows the lead screw to pass effortlessly through the rear bearing. Once complete, pop the bearing back out and adjust the lead screw on the other side. Next we'll be installing the pulleys in the belt. Back out the lead screws to approximately this position and insert the lead screw tip through the bearings. Apply force so that the lead screw is as far through the bearing as possible. Notice the flat spot on the lead screw. This is where the set screw, pictured here, needs to contact. Only lightly tighten this set screw. Install the lock nut just tight enough to contact the pulley. Our goal is to eliminate all the play front to back, yet still have a pulley that can be turned easily by hand. Once you've eliminated all the play, tighten the set screw completely and recheck to ensure it's easy to turn by hand. Next, use the table retaining bar to set the distance of the upright from the rear plate. Do this on both sides. This will ensure that both upright plates are exactly the same distance away from the rear plate. Mark the pulleys at the top position to help you reference this spot. With tension on the belt, put the belt over both pulleys. Be sure the pulleys do not turn. It's important that after the belt is installed, the black marks that you made on the pulleys are still at the 12 o'clock position. Next, we'll set the tension on the belt. Using a 10 millimeter open end wrench, grasp the nut on the rear of the plate. Using a three millimeter Allen wrench, tighten the screw, there will be slight tension on the belt. Notice how the machine can easily slide on this table, yet we can operate the belt by hand and the machine remains stable. Following all of these tips will ensure that your StepCraft machine performs its absolute best. Be sure to follow the calibration manual also included with your machine once you've completed the build.